Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Tik Kadli Couple. My name is Nitisha and together we will explore the world, sharing our adventures and travel vlogs with you. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. It's totally free for you, but it means world to us. Now let's jump into the delicious world of Universal Studios Orlando, where food meets fun. So grab your snacks and let's get started. Our day started with a sweet surprise at Fudu Donuts located at the entrance of Universal Studios Boardwalk. I was instantly captivated by the oversized Fudu chair. It was the perfect photo op. And once we stepped inside, I was amazed by the sheer variety of donuts. It was a paradise for the eyes. So many mouth-watering options all in one place. I couldn't wait to get my hand on these. Now, let's be real. These donuts are a big indulgent. But hey, we are on a fun trip and sometimes you just have to treat yourself. Gaurav went for Oreo peanut butter donut and it did not disappoint. There are so many flavors to choose from. I chose the grape ape and I have to say, I liked mine even more. The burst of flavor was simply delightful. Both were delicious in their own way, but there's something about that grape ape flavor that really stood out. Next, we headed over to try some Korean bows. This was my first time experiencing this delightful dish. And I have always wanted to give it a try. So when I spotted it here, I couldn't resist. But we hit a little snag. Those small bows seemed to take forever to get ready. We were so hungry at that point. When they finally arrived, I couldn't think about anything else. All I wanted to do was dive in and enjoy these delicious treats. I tried the veggie one and other is the kimchi one. After all that waiting, it was totally worth it. After enjoying Korean bows, I was in the mood for Mexican food. So we headed to Moe's Southwest Grill. The vibrant atmosphere set the perfect tone for a delicious meal. I tried the fajita ball and it was fantastic. Packed with tender grilled chicken, salted peppers, onions, cilantro lime rice. It was a flavor explosion. The addition of black beans and creamy guacamole took it over the top. Every bite was satisfying and the portion size was generous. Perfect for refueling after a day of exploring. If you are craving Mexican cuisine at Universal Studios, Moe's is definitely worth a visit. I tried Breadbox handcrafted sandwiches and while the flavors were tasty, I was disappointed with the portion size. The sandwich was delicious, featuring fresh ingredients and great combinations, but it was on the smaller side, leaving me feeling unsatisfied after the meal. Given the price, I would suggest considering other options in the park for more filling experience. While it's a nice spot for a quick snack, it might be best to skip it if you are looking for something substantial. Thank you for watching. Subscribe us for more.